Yo guys, it's Brayton, and we're back reviewing another model. Um, this is the 1997 official Ravel Nationals funny car, as you can see there, and it's 1 out of 7,500. It's a Ravel monogram, as all the other well, the other two were. Uh, this Ravel Nationals uh, says Ravel Nationals on the side of the car, the decal. Um, these flames are pretty cool. It says Ravel Nationals on the front. Uh, it says October 16th through 19th of 1997. It's a Firebird formula. Pretty cool model. Let me open it up here, guys. Oh, let's look at the box. There you go. Nine and five eighths inches long. It's about four inches shorter than the Dragster. 82 pieces, modeled in white. Water side decals. And it's also a 1997 Ravel monogram. So, here you can, on this side you can see what the car would look like finished. Um, and here's, um, there's the back. Kind of shows, shows it without the, uh, without the body on it. There's the parachute and everything, the roll, roll bar, the wheelie bar, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, put the lid down there. Okay, let's dive right in here. Here is um, here's part of the frame, part of the chassis, whatever. Put that aside. Here's the actual body, and right off the bat, you notice it is a uh, Firebird formula. Awfully skinny, uh, but real long, funny car, and funny car tradition. There is a tad bit of flashing on this particular body, but um, nothing you can't work out. I mean, it's it's minimal. Uh, here's windshield and windows, both. Um, drag slicks, and then your front wheels, and it's in normal Ravel style on the tree. So there's that. A uh, bunch of chrome parts. Let me move some of this stuff bunch of chrome parts all this stuff uh, looks like some looks like the wheels his wheels look really nice well, I really like those wheels um, your exhaust manifolds your headers butterflies for the um, for the blower um, Looks like a valve cover of some sort. Um, have no idea what these guys are. They were shiny. Um, front wheels look exactly like the back wheels, which is nice. Here's the blower itself. Right there. Kind of see it. The camera doesn't want to focus. Oil pan. And the other, it looks like the other valve cover. So here comes here comes the fun part without the flashing. You just look at those guys. You haven't even seen the half of it yet. This see this belt's a little bit wider than the last one. You can't really see it. This guy actually has teeth in it, which I'm surprised about that. Um, this is flashing city right here, guys. I've never seen flashing this bad on anything, on any model I've ever built. But you can just see this stuff. It just, just um, pull this stuff off. I mean, it's, it's that. It's got that much flashing on it. These are for the, uh, the wings. Um. Crap, what else is in this box? See the engine. Uh, looks like the seat. I'm assuming this is part of, just sticks up inside the uh, the body of some sort. I have no idea about these guys. Um, really don't. It'd be a trip for me. Be pretty fun. Here's an instruction book. It's a little bit different than the other ones. It's not like a normal open from the left style book, you know. Um, here is the, uh, Certificate of Authenticity again. Oh, and I think the decal sheet is the last thing in here. If I could... 
we get it out. Yeah, that's the last thing. There's those flame decals. They're in two pieces, which I'm not a big fan of. Oh, the harness. The harness actually is pretty, pretty detailed. It's right there and right there. So you just throw that stuff back in the box, guys. Um, well, I'm just kind of crudely throwing these back in here. I don't really care how they go back in there. Just as long as the box closes is all I care about. It looks like the box is going to close this time. That's a surprise. It usually doesn't. Alright. We'll put the box stuff back on this. Maybe I set the camera down. Put this back on the floor. Alright. There's that. Let me talk to you guys for a second. Uh, the parents are trying to sleep. Oh, here's a nice. I don't know what that goes to. It's a good question. Oh, I know what it goes to. It goes to the um, the seven and a half Baldwin Motion Camaro that I got pissed off and didn't build. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I got pretty quiet there. Um, my mom came in and told me to be quiet, so um, they're trying to go to bed. But um, I just wanted to put up these, record these videos real quick, because um, tomorrow I gotta get up pretty early. Actually, really early, butt crack of dawn, really. If you want to get technical, I gotta get up at um, about 7:30 and go to. Um, I live in Indiana, and about I live about an hour away from Indianapolis, um, and they're having a model car uh, contest and swap meet type thing. So I'm going out there check out some of the hopefully check out some pretty cool models and stuff um if i would have known about it sooner i actually would have built one of these models well i just recently got these models about three or two or three days ago two two days actually it wasn't last night it was the night before so i, I wouldn't have had time to build these but i could have taken one of my other ones or built one nicer um but Shoulda, coulda, woulda, I guess. Um, I just happened to check and they were having one. So I told my dad and he's like, well, I'll take you. So we're doing that. Tomorrow morning it ends at 4. We'll probably leave well before that. So I don't know when. I'm uploading a video right now. The first video of um, the actual NASCAR. So it's going up right now. It's uploading. Who knows how long that'll take. Good lord. It takes forever to upload videos to YouTube from a phone. But, um, airbrush. Uh, see you guys next time. Peace.